The following video will show you how to export and import a printed file in a format that the Epson printer accepts, whether it be an SPL or a PRN file. This is very much different than a file that you would save through a graphic program such as CorelDRAW, Photoshop, or Illustrator in that it saves all of the print settings including paper size, the resolution, and other print items that you can choose depending on whether you're printing from a dye sublimation, inkjet transfer, or direct to garment printer. To begin with, the first thing we'll do is we'll open up a print queue. In this case, we'll open up the Stylus Pro 4880 print queue by double clicking on it. You'll notice that there's one job already in there. We'll select the job and then go up to job options. In job options we will click the export button. In the export button we'll have the ability to save the file. This file is a basketball file and let's say it's for a specific high school named Jones High. I will then turn around. I can select saving it to a specific folder on my computer. In this case I'm just going to save it directly to my desktop with the file name Basketball Jones High. It's a PRN and SPL file. Go ahead and click Save. The save process has already happened. I can then go ahead and delete this job that's currently in here. To delete the job, I'll click on Job Options and go down to Delete. It'll be in the process of deleting this job. Now if I wanted to import that file to a completely different printer, I can scroll up. We can choose the Epson Stylus Pro 7800. I'll double click onto that printer. I will go File, Job Options, go into Import. From the Import function, I will notice that I have my PRN file that's saved right here. I will click on it and click Open it will now drop it into the print queue and send it directly to the printer. And that's how you use the export and import function for saving print files.